Hi friends, how are you? I hope you are all doing well. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, install Let's Encrypt SSL certificate into your EC2 instance. So let's get started. I am in my EC2 uh, dashboard. So here I'm going to create a new instance. And then uh, I'm going to choose the EC2 instance within the free tier. So first, let me give him the name of the instance. Let's say web server. I'm going to choose Amazon Linux 2. That's OK. And in the instance type, I'm going to choose T2 micro, which is free tier. For the key pair, I'm going to use the existing one that I have already created previously. If you don't have any existing key pairs, just create a new one. And then for the security group, I'm going to create a new security group with HTTPS and HTTP both have open. Storage eight gigabyte, that's fine. And then advanced. I'm going to choose I am instance profile, which is I have already previously created. This profile has uh, SSM full access. So if you haven't created this, go to IAM and then create a new role for the EC2 with SSM full access. Others you can keep as it is. Then let's create the launch instance button. It will create a new instance. It might take around two to three minutes, but we can use it. So while it is loading, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you what I am planning to do. <laughs> At first, I'm going to install uh, Nginx with PHP 8, and then I'm going to create a subdomain and point this subdomain to this web server. And uh, once the subdomain pointing is done, then I'm going to install Let's Encrypt and uh, install an SSL certificate. So uh, I refresh, the instance is running. If I see the instance, I see the public IP is this, but there is no elastic IP. That means when you create a new in instance, there is no elastic IP. However, elastic IP is uh, good for you for managing um web server so i'm going to create a new elastic instance elastic ip and then uh, assign that elastic ip to that instance so this is my elastic ip click here and associate this elastic ip with the instance that's it so we have associated the elastic ip with the instance let's go to the uh, instance details and here i'm going to click on the connect button and uh, if you uh, if you remember i have choose an ec2 iam role so that role has permission for ssm full access and this uh, permission will help me to connect from the browser so let's try to click the connect button So uh, it is now connecting and it's connected. Let's take sudo su. I'm taking root privileges. At first, I'm going to update yum packages in yum update minus y. It will update all the necessary packages and uh, make sure we have the latest versions of the yum repositories. Sometimes it takes one or two minutes, so let's be patient. Okay, let's clear the screen. Now I'm going to uh, type Amazon Linux extras. So it will show me the Amazon Linux Extra and using Amazon Linux Extra, you are going to install Nginx, you are going to install PHP. So um, I'm going to type again, Amazon Linux Extras. 
enable engine x1 see engine x1 is the now latest version and i'm going to also enable pitch plate so So, I have enabled PHP 8.0, I have enabled Amazon Linux Nginx. So, if I am now trying to install, uh, I have given the command here, let's try to copy this. Copy. Next. Copy. Do not worry about remembering these commands because I have a blog written on my website where I have shown all the commands. So you can just copy and paste. So if you just go to Google, then uh, you can search with. Uh, AWS Nginx install traffic. It will give you uh, it should let's go to Google Chrome probably and let's install Nginx traffic. It should show yeah, there it is. So uh, I was in Bing, but uh, I didn't show my result. But here I have. Yes. <laughs> so I will give the link of this blog into the details in the description of the video. So just check it out. It has all the commands. You can just copy and literally copy paste it and uh, run the things on your own. So. Uh, since my internet is very slow, so let's wait for a minute for the site to be moved on. Okay, um, it is for some reason not shown properly. Let's go here and close the page. Mm -hmm. so bad internet today. Uh -huh. Why this video is so here all the comments are given. So I can I can literally just copy paste this. So I'm just going to copy this line and then I'm going to paste it. Similarly, I can copy the next line. So these are all PHP extensions that you might need for your application students. So I'm just going to install it. Okay, then uh, probably I haven't uh, installed Nginx. So let's just install Nginx.
this. So the Nginx is installed, then I'm going to start the Nginx. So the command is simple. I'm just going to paste it. Then I'm going to enable Nginx. So when I reboot the system, it should automatically restart. This is useful because sometimes we stop our server and then turn it on, which might stop working the Nginx server. Then I'm going to uh, also uh, start the PHP FPM. So with Nginx, you need to use PHP FPM to uh, function properly. I'm going to also enable PHP FPM. Then I'm going to create a virtualbox file. That's just copy this. So um, we can change the name of the file. So I'm giving gcptips.conf, but you can give your domain name.com. So press enter. It will open the file in an edit mode. I'm going to press I to insert. And then I'm going to uh, copy all those lines. Open my notepad. Why not? Because it has my own domain, but I'm for you, it might be different. So just change this domain. I'm going to keep like ssl.gcpjp.com and uh, it should be ssl. So this is for the uh, server port 80. So we want to redirect all the Zero, that means HTTP request to HTTPS. Then I'm going to uh, oh maybe I think we can uh, just remove this block. That's not so. Uh, what we have to do is uh, SSL port eight zero root by double Let's give it like tick. You can re re rename this folder name is you one I'm just giving it my name index index of HP all those things you can just keep it on let's copy this now and paste it in the editor paste it here Save it. Now I'm going to copy the elastic IP, add, a, uh, add an A record. So I'm using Cloudflare. So uh, click here, type A, SSL, IP address, not proxy. So Cloudflare is not sponsoring me, but I like Cloudflare and I have all my 37 websites, 37 domains, DNS hosted in Cloudflare. So you might use that as well. So uh, we have now pointed our subdomain into this project. One more thing, I have pointing to this directory while this directory doesn't exist. So let's create this directory. So do mkd then create an index file so do vi index.php and i'm going to give it a name php info so i'm going to restart the nginx server so so do system CTL restart nginx. Now let's see if we can browse this subdomain. SSL dot um, It should show PHP eight, and that works fine. However, um, it says non-secure, so we want to install. Let's unclick. So 
how can I do that? Looks into it. Uh, I have an article written on let's encrypt part. So let's open this article. And uh, over there, I have shown you how you can install let's encrypt on your Amazon Relax tool. So let's encrypt is free SSL provider. So if you search let's encrypt, it's a free SSL provider which gives you SSL certificate. And um, if you can click here, getting started. Documentation, let's go to the documentation. Understand. Let's encrypt PDF. Let's click start mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I get lost in Bing because we don't keep the correct results. Start board PDF. There it is. So this is the SART port that we are going to use to install an SSL certificate. So click on SART port instructions and choose the software. For us, we are going to use Nginx and the system is Amazon Linux. Is there anything called Amazon Linux? If it's not, then we, we can use the center 7. Why this is giving error? I know so it's not. Let's try on a different browser. Oh, here it is. It looks fine. Probably there is some caching issue. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these commands. At first, I'm going to uh, copy this, paste it here. Then I'm going to uh, Enable EPEL. After that, I'm going to run this command. Remember here, I'm going to install Python 2 support Nginx. But if you're using Apache, you need to use Apache here. But it's okay if you're using Nginx. Then uh, this is the command. Okay, it is installing the Python script. Let's clear my screen and now let's run this command. So do support nginx. So it will ask you for uh, an email address. So let's if um, yes, just press yes, yes. Okay. Then it will show you the subdomains or domains that is available in your virtual host. I have added this subdomain ssl.gcptips.com. So I'm going to use that. I press number one and press enter. Now it will try to create an SSL certificate and then it will update my virtual host as well. And it says congratulations, that means we are all good to go. Now, let's try to refresh this page and see if there is any change. Yes, there is a change. Now we see HTTPS. If I copy here to Google Chrome, it will show you much better with this lock icon. It says connection is secured, certificate is valid, and the certificate date is 22nd July till 20th October. So you might think that this is why this is 22nd July, well, I have 23rd. The reason is uh, this time is in UTC, I think zero time zone. That means 
it's six hours earlier and I am in a GMT plus six. That means even though it's 12.56 a.m., but actual server time is uh, 22nd July 6.56 p.m. That's why it's showing 22nd. But I think it's a time zone issue, so you should be able to understand this. Okay, uh, fair enough. We have installed a SSL certificate, we have installed Nginx, we have installed PHP, all those extensions are available. And if you wanted to add or remove any extensions, you can do that using the documentations that I have given here. So that being said, thank you for watching my video. I hope it helps you to grow your career. If you like this video, please share with your friends or colleagues who might get help on fixing setting up those SSL certificates. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.